Now let's take a look at our setup here. We've got one thread. We've got two threads. We've got transcript show A1, A2, B1, B2. So if we select that, highlight it, do it, we get the obvious result. So we're going to do this with two threads. We're going to create two semaphores, sem A and sem B, block A, block B. That's block A, and that's block B. Transcript show here, just like we had before, A1, A2, B1, B2. But when we select it all, highlight it, and then do it, we get a different result. A1, B1, A2, B2. A1, B1, A2, B2. So these two threads are alternating between the two blocks. So let's make an adjustment to our code. We see signal, which is sort of a go statement, is sent to a semaphore. What if we have semaphores and we initialize this whole process with no signal? What happens then? Highlight, do it, nothing happens. So your semaphores have to start with some sort of initial go signal, a signal, um, or else nothing's going to happen. It's either got to be signal or wait for a semaphore, as we'll see. So we've got signals here, a signal here, and signals here. And we're going to adjust sem A signal, sem B wait, and sem A signal, and see what happens. So sem B and sem A control these blocks. This block here, sem B critical controls that block. Sem A critical controls this block. Now, if the semaphores don't let those blocks execute, the next line won't be able to execute either. So with sem B, having a signal, sem B critical controlling this block. Let's uh, comment out sem A signal and see what happens. Select all, do it, we get A1. So sem B, which has a go signal, sem B critical, that executes sem B wait. So that's as far as we got. We just stopped right there. Without the sem A, we don't move on. So we bring ba that back in. We see that sem A brings us down to the other block. We get the expected results. So now we're going back and forth. But what's interesting is that um, when you get flipped back to the first block, you know, sem B takes us back up to this block. It doesn't repeat that block. The thread knows where it is in the execution, in the order of execution, and moves to the next statement. So these are a few examples about semaphores and um, interprocess control. This book here is an excellent um, introduction to the topic, so I recommend checking it out.